Welcome back to Seeing Scarlet. It is Monday, and we are super excited to do a soccer recap. The first of the season, we get it was an exhibition, y'all. We get it. But a win is a win. A win is a win. And those gals went up to Denver and mm -hmm. really dominated the game. The final score was 2 to nothing. Sibby will break down in full in a minute, but... <laughs> It could have been a lot more than that. So <laughs> it was fun. It, we couldn't watch it. But even the, the social media team for Texas Tech, shout out y'all, did a good job of giving us live stats. We weren't sure if we are going to get anything. But yeah, we got enough to be able to put together a recap. So we did some deep diving on the <laughs> PDF little shot charts and box scores, if you will. And she's going to give you some more info as well as preview, y'all. We have made it. The season is here. We're here. Texas Tech sports that count mm -hmm. are here. Mm -hmm, this mm -hmm. week, Thursday night, you can get on your little phone, on your computer, <laughs> on your TV, and watch a Texas Tech sporting event. Unfortunately, it's away, so you can't go there in person, but you can watch it. You will be able to stream it against New Mexico. And then, mm -hmm. if you're in Lubbock on Sunday, get your Tell little him. tootie to the John Walker on the 20th for the first game of the season, a night game. Let's party it up and have a good time. So that's first a home preview game. of what you're about to get in this episode. Now we're going to turn it over to Sibby and let her do the thing, and I'll just be here bopping along because I had a lot of fun watching the game the other day, watching, and it wasn't I, even a real video. I know. I was like, I I, I followed the tweets and, and did the thing, it's an exhibition game, so like, it doesn't really matter, but it does matter. Oh, it matters. It matters. Uh, but yeah, Shelby, you're right. Um, the most excited I am about this game is I was right. My prediction was correct. You were, you we did, won. You got two zero. You got the score. Run it right. back. Run it back. <laughs> so I'm gonna hang my hat on that for a very, very long time. Points. Um, until I get it wrong, and then that's yeah, it. No, um, but yeah, going through I know. The season. One zero right now for Sibby. Thanks. It's the longest I've ever been undefeated. I think. But, um, yeah, huge, huge win. Uh, they, I, I think, had a lot to like what we talked about in our previous episode of just figuring out who's going where. A lot of new folks, um, where a lot of new players were able to to jump into the game. I think they said, yeah, nine newcomers, um, were able to see some of the action. So, that's I have really a exciting for novice uh, soccer analyst here. I hope I have um, the answer, but yeah. I, I watch a lot more international soccer than I do college soccer outside of Texas Tech, but I uh, I don't. Are you allowed to sub as freely as they were in the exhibition, or was that just because it was an exhibition? I think there that's were people just coming in and leaving and coming in five minutes later. Definitely exhibition. It's, it's like normal soccer where you can't come back in, right? Right, in right, 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 okay. right, 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 right. I think I yeah. did notice that in the box score. It'd be like Kylie Barr has left the game five minutes later. Kylie Barr has entered the She's game. She's back. I know. I was like, when, Wait, what? <laughs> what? Yeah, I think that's what's helpful about these games is like. Rules don't matter. <laughs> like, yes, yes. Or, you know, you're, you're able to really see your roster in Especially some as deep competition. As as that was mm -hmm. probably helpful for Tom Stone and the, and the group. And who was it? Every player that we talked to, and they were all like, yeah, we're just done playing against each other. Like, yeah, <laughs> please like, give us somebody that's else. That's when you know that camp has been competitive. <laughs> yes, <laughs> like, yes. We just, just anybody. <laughs> like, uh, we'll play you guys if you'll come out there. We'll, we don't care. We just want somebody else to shoot and, and try to stop us. I know. Every time I talk or think about Madison White, I'm like, that is such a scary position in soccer to be the goalkeeper. Like, can you imagine? I mean, especially with the shots on goal that we had. This is an excellent segue. From this game, we had 17 shots. Seven of them were on the goal. It's wild. I know. So we were just like sending them um full send. But yeah, getting that shutout win. Uh, another hats off to Madison White doing what she does best she gives those clean sheets right back she says nothing to see here i stopped everything no she's, worries she's a texas just a tech monster. legend and if y'all are appreciating that you're getting to watch a texas tech legend for one more season at texas tech yeah she's you're really missing great. out like wake up she's gone mm -hmm. after this year and she could be at the top of the record book in a lot of categories by the mm -hmm. end of the season mm -hmm. and she could end up being a texas tech hall of famer like when you think about it stats wise and what she's done as a as a player, she mm -hmm. has that pedigree, and she's still playing now. I know a living legend, so to speak. I know. Get out there and watch her. She's so fun to watch. <laughs> Yo, I, I can't wait. I, her story of like hearing her perspective will never be not the coolest thing to me yeah, was... of her first game. <laughs> if y'all haven't watched it, go watch our interview with Madison. She talks about what I thought I knew the story yeah we knew the story but not the story not the story <laughs> so 
uh hats off to madison white again um yeah having a shutout so i was right about us having a, a shutout two nil um i was wrong about the goal scores which honestly that would have been really like, impressive that would have been i would have gotten the lottery by now um <laughs> but we we had some some goal scores from sam courtright which i got some I don't have anything on her because she's a freshman. To warn, we tried to warn y'all about her briefly. <laughs> I tried You're to get like, some stuff freshman, on her. Freshman uh, to watch. Look freshman to watch for sure. Um, she had in that game a goal and an assist. Uh, she also, I think, I believe she started the game too. So like everything re- went really, really right for I Sam. They um, started two freshmen if I saw two? the. Okay. I don't remember who the other one was, but I saw that there was two in there. Okay. If that means anything. That. I don't yeah. Know. I th- why not? Why not? Add it to the list. But Sam Courtright, I'm going to say that one more time. Sam Remember the name. Courtright is a definitely a player to watch. She had a really, really great game against Denver. Um, and I th- who was it Madison that told us to, to keep an eye out for her too? Yeah, so. and then uh, Tom Stones talked about her in the mm-hmm. preseason interviews. He called her – he said that she's going to be a fan favorite because she, <laughs> she is apparently pretty flashy on the ball. Like her yes. dribbling skills are really impressive, which tracks when she scored mm-hmm. and got an assist. Mm -hmm. He said she's just a freshman, and he said she's kind of like that golfer that has every the ability to make every shot, but doesn't know what club to pull at the right time because she's a freshman. I thought that was a perfect analogy by Coach Stone to describe her that she can do anything at any time with her her ability, her feet, and what she can do with the ball. Just figuring out, but she's still learning when to do it. And how cool. to do it at the perfect time. Great. So apparently, she's really flashy and fun to watch. I was like, oh, that's cool. She, so she'll she's flash, a midfielder. Like she'll, uh, makes sense. People, yeah. yeah, people are going to have fun <laughs> watching her. Yes. Uh, it has a little flair to her. Yeah. If she continues to, to stay in that midfield area, it's definitely you won't have any choice but to know where she is at all times mm-hmm. and what she's doing. But yeah, five eight freshman from um, Dallas and her resume from Dallas, like she was first teams, all conference selections, all Americans, final fours, training camps. She's done it all uh, that you're supposed to do, I think, in the high school <laughs> realm of soccer yeah. and kind of covered the, bases. the Dallas. Yeah, the Dallas area, too. Um, so Sam Courtright, I am really excited to hear more uh, more of her name and what she ends up doing in her freshman year. But great start from her. Uh, and then we also had a goal. Um, so Sam had one. And then Elise Anderson, she's a defender. Um, she also got a goal rec- recorded for her in, uh, in that game. And she – let me – I did some some digging on her too, um, and we're going to be away. doing this probably the whole season, right? Yeah, Just we're getting to, to know these players, especially with yeah. all the new the transfers and the fresh tons of news. Yeah, new new folks here. But uh, Elise Anderson, she's a, se- a senior defender from South Lake, Texas. Um, yeah, she she's she's crushing it. Um, so she started her freshman year recording two shots on goal against SEC appoint- opponents. So she was coming out a big ju- like coming out. F- flying um so her sophomore year she continued to be a menace on offense and defense it seems <laughs> which is great uh junior year had another really great year too which we know how important the junior year is um big 12 defender of the week in october which in the middle of october is if you're gonna get defend- that award the defenders on this team are stupid i'm sorry continue they defend they do it they, and they you do saw the that job. by the the stats which i'm sure you're gonna say <laughs> The yeah. shot differential was. Yeah, the shots are nuts. Very nuts. Um, we just weren't even allowing them to get the shots off. No, don't. Probably not even spending too much time back there. I needed to look at that on the box score too. Um, I think it was like six shots by them total, yeah. and only mm. two of them were on goal. And yeah, Madison, that's correct. of course, saved both. She did. Them. She she had a, a diving save on one of mm-hmm. them as well. Um, which is just at this point, I'm not really surprised. You know, like. She's just doing what she's it's doing. What she um, does, yeah, I yes. did notice. I don't know if it. I don't know if that happened when she made the diving save, but I forgot to even tell you this. We randomly got like three or four likes on that video we put out on Madison okay. that was pinned to the top of our uh-huh. uh, page from people that were related to the Denver team or the Denver sports market within okay. like a ten minute period, and I was like, Madison must have just done something stupid in this game. <laughs> And so after the game, when I saw that the the recap said, because again, there was no video for us to watch. Right. We could only see that it's zero and Madison's doing her thing. The defenders are doing their thing. They're not scoring. But we couldn't see what was happening. Mm-hmm. Um, there wasn't even live stats. Like At least we have those after the game. But there was nothing to go off of. Uh, <laughs> but I'm thinking 
that when those likes were coming in, it was right after she made that diving scene. Yeah, they're like, they're like who, who is, is this? this? <laughs> like, how do they don't know? We played them four years Correct. in a row, but um, maybe it was new people, and they're like, who is this girl? Um, yeah. And they found that video probably the first thing when they searched Twitter. It was funny to me. I was like, what is happening? Oh, anyway. gosh. I love that. Yeah. Um, and... Yeah, I, I, I love that you were able to connect the dots, too. Like, maybe the, you can even get the exact second of, like, when the play happened and then when the those likes stamp. started coming yeah. in. Yeah. I don't think you get timestamps <laughs> on likes, unfortunately. But oh, yeah. It's the only thing that makes sense in my brain. She that did something sense. in that game, or it could have been the beginning of the game. They saw a starry lineup. I don't know. But and it was, it was the four tweet, right so. together, and I was like... Uh-huh suspicious behavior. uh-huh uh-huh suspicious well yeah uh good to know madison you're just keep doing you girl um so those are some two names of the goal scorers and in, in the the sheets too of like where we are sc- scoring these goals is like upper 90s so like we're not even letting that goalkeeper have a shot and if they are gonna get make that connection good luck because they're firing they're firing it off yeah, um, and you're making those so. top top corner even as a novice, mm-hmm. novice uh, soccer analyst over here yeah <laughs> everybody knows like that's uh, that's fairly Impressive. unstoppable mm-hmm. for i mean that's why the in pks if you aim there they can't really do much mm-hmm. so yep. making that in the live action yeah is, that just tells me like it wasn't luck mm-hmm. you know what yep. i mean like they yeah. take and they're they were outside the box both shots right or right inside the box one of them off that yep. shot chart it wasn't close up and they're shoo, in there you are correct impressive yep. shots by the way. and you one of them correct. from a defender mm-hmm. yeah it's it's really cool to see uh it without watching the game it, it tells us a little bit of a story of what happened <laughs> you can see the map maybe we can put this up of like the two different images of all the different goals or the shots on goals the ones that we had like 7 17 and all over the place all over the map in Denver's just kind of looks a little bit lackluster yeah, but our, and you can even see yeah. on there uh we should put it up there and you should if the legend at the bottom it'll tell you the block shots and you can see mm-hmm. on the denver's end like how many our defenders were blocking like they mm-hmm. they were trying to shoot but it was like you know probably hannah happening. and kylie and macy and and elise mm-hmm. maybe back there before she's scoring goals blocking yeah. the shots or not, not even have a chance to get to maddie and of course the ones that did she's like i got you I know. And speaking of Macy, um, Macy Blackburn, this was her return to soccer. She had an injury uh, and now she's back and she was part of the 2021 all big 12 freshman team. So Mm -hmm. there's been a lot of excitement behind Macy. And so seeing her come out and get some good minutes and to to make her return. um, She's also another name to watch. Like literally everybody on this roster is a name to watch. Uh, but a really cool story with Macy um, returning from there was, injury. There seemed to be smart with her minutes in this one, too. Mm-hmm. I was I was noticing mm-hmm. that, where she played a small amount, and then she came out, and then they put her back in the second half for a little bit. They are being smart about her return mm-hmm. to play. But we talked, mm-hmm. um, which people will read here on Wednesday, we talked to Hannah a little bit about Macy's return yeah. in our interview and about how they're working on getting chemistry together because Hannah's played. Hannah Anderson is captain of the team, if you all aren't aware. She's a senior. She's a defender back there. She's played with Kylie last year as a freshman, and she's played with – Macy two years ago as a freshman but mm-hmm. Kylie and Macy maybe got three games together last year before Macy got injured so there's a cohesiveness that still needs mm-hmm. to come but they're all super talented and you kind of got to see that in this this game yeah and totally. remind people that may have missed our Friday preview yeah. of this game how good the front line is of Denver it's yeah. not like oh it's just Denver that they didn't score because they're not any good like they're loaded as far as scorers on that yeah. team yeah, Denver is a really good team. They have been a really good team. Um, the one player that I was really concerned with uh, on Denver's side, her name is Cameron McMillan. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's really good, and we just shut her down. So I'm not too sure what was, like, the leading force, but we've probably talked about several of what could have been possible and what was actually happening. Um uh, on the game but yeah Cameron from their side uh, they had like two returners that came from like they had records the season before or one coming back from an injury so like this Denver team ha- is a tough team like this 2-0 ga- game for in my opinion even though it's an exhibition whatever yeah to me that's more of an accomplishment accomplishment because they're we're still figuring things out and like yeah. which lineups make sense and like you were talking about like relationships that need to be worked on and just have that chemistry on the on the pitch and so mm-hmm. i in my opinion this is a really awesome starting note it's better than losing right like it Correct. doesn't count <laughs> always like, it would <laughs> yeah. have been a but sour taste to the weekend yeah. and we looked it up and denver beat 
LSU two days prior in their mm-hmm. exhibition with um, mm-hmm. with LSU. So like they beat an SEC team one yeah. to nothing, and then again it was two days later. So maybe they were resting their starters more than we were. We don't know. We'd have to go break down sure. the minutes. You know, it, it, listen, it's exhibition for a reason. But there were good things that mm-hmm. came from that, and I think you predicted that Kerr. And Williams yeah. I was would score. Yeah, yeah, I did yeah. look at the play-by-play, and so they mm-hmm. they didn't play a lot. Like they probably played like 20, 30 minutes each, which makes, makes sense. sense. He's letting other people get um, some run and, and resting mm-hmm. those two that'll probably get a lot of minutes, play a lot of full nineties throughout the year. Um, yeah. But they started the game out hot at the Cooking. five minute mark. Alex Kerr shot just right, right of the goal, top right. I'm Zoomer, so close. almost scored. So Could have scored five minutes in. <laughs> two minutes later. <laughs> Her counterpart, Ashley Williams, who you guessed would be the other goal scorer, mm-hmm. bottom of the goal, got actually saved by the goalkeeper. So they were doing what they do. And yeah. then a few minutes later, they were checked out of the game. They let other people in, and then they came back later. Yeah. Which but is um, your, your good uh, news. prediction was almost correct <laughs> eight minutes into the game. You would have been 2 Every, Everybody Texas stop. Stop, stop, the, stop count. the count. <laughs> it was so close to being correct so when close. we got to watch the – I look at the play-by-play, and then, then, of course, it took a while, but then mm-hmm. uh, we broke through at the end. But I just yeah. wanted to point that out, that you were you were quite close I, to getting you know, it I, it Granted, just, it The, the vibes four, felt right. It would have been 4-0 then, but we would have taken that. So. Right, right, right. Totally. Um, yeah, those two names, too, are also going to be uh, ones that you probably hear a lot. The ones that you already heard already. Ashley's phenomenal. Um, yeah, she is. Talk about so an, yeah another player too that I, I wanted to talk about and this is also a shout out to andrew stern with that wrote this article um about texas tech's match and kind of giving us a inside picture of what's mm-hmm. not on the the score sheet um but a player a junior caitlin giametta giametta Correct. i'm gonna say yeah. yeah um she i heard her okay so i was watching their spring game last Mm-hmm. Spring. She scored in the spring game, right? <laughs> I, I'm trying to remember because she didn't play her – I don't think – yeah, she didn't play her freshman year. So I'm that pretty was, sure she scored in the spring game. So I she was probably – yeah, coming back like, from – Cool. <clears throat> yep, and I remember sitting in the stands in Lubbock and watching their game, and there's, like, you know, a bunch of family and people bopping around, and I'm just kind of doing my own thing. And I kept hearing Caitlin's name, and I was like – is that a player on the team? I looked it up and I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. And then, like, w- was able to, like, research more about her and, and things like that And in that spring game. And she's just really, really impressive. And she had, I guess, a, a really impressive uh, game here, too, and recording some of her personal bests. Um, and so I'm, I'm excited about her, too, and how she's going to pop off with the season, mostly because I've been hearing her name <laughs> just, like, yeah. around the stands of, like, hey, people are talking about you. Watch um, her, watch her. Yeah, so Caitlin is somebody that I'm also really excited and, and had a really strong performance, too, um, coming off the bench uh, in recording a team best four shots in just 39 minutes of action. What, so <laughs> What a menace. What a menace. Uh, Caitlin out there just sending them packing. off. She's like, I'm taking every <laughs> shot I can. Um, uh huh. Um, yeah. So those are some some names that shot off. Um, and then yeah, again the the shots on goal compared to Denver's was really impressive. Uh, Madison having that clean sheet, um, credited with two saves, one of them being that diving save. Uh, but both of these goals didn't happen <laughs> until the second half, like the seventieth minute and beyond. So mm-hmm. knowing that we had those quick attacks in the beginning, um, it's nice to hear that we weren't just like waiting until the end of the match to like get to cooking we were cooking from the beginning yeah yeah, yeah. it wasn't a you know what we're not going to mention them moving on going to yep. get a world cup uh mention but we've moved on we've moved on yes who yeah exactly so uh great first match what where does that lead us now um texas tech will now go play the university of new mexico uh on thursday and that's eight thirty central time and it's going to be broadcasted i believe they're their own network their school network yeah yeah if y'all go and click on the we'll schedule pump out the link don't yeah. worry for, we got you we got you it. covered we'll be, we'll be blasting it all night we'll be tweeting about it all night obnoxiously as we do because that's our goal that's how we roll y'all as excited about <laughs> soccer as we are keep and it going you're gonna you're gonna get into it if you haven't followed this team they're fun to follow um, i know as we've interviewed them but yeah, yeah. tell us yeah, what, yeah. What, so what's a little bit of preview on new a mexico? little bit of a preview that i got you know we play new mexico in new mexico state like the whole They're state like of new mexico 10 minutes away, so. we play them quite often um we typically like see success but the last time that we did play them in august so like kind of the same time frame uh we tied them one one 
at Texas Tech. So that last year. Or? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Um, so there's that. Uh, looking more into like New Mexico's roster, who they got, what's going on. Uh, they're similar to Tech in that they have a really young team. Mm-hmm. Um, New Mexico is picked third in the MW preseason women's soccer coaches poll uh, to finish third out of 12 so they're just below wyoming yeah pretty good they have wyoming and san diego state which i know san diego state their their soccer team is really impressive um this team has also produced a nwsl nwsl professional um they she her name is Jaden edwards and she got drafted to louisville racing which quiz time Mm. which red raider is also on that team Kirsten Davis. That's it. So Davis was there. She got drafted there 2021. 2011. Like that. That's so long ago. That's not even the century to me anymore. It was like 20. Was it 2021 or 2020? 2021. 21. Yeah. Yeah, so that's really cool connection there. Um, but yeah, New Mexico is a it's a good team. I expect some of the same things that we see we saw with Denver, but uh, maybe a little bit more. It's serious yeah, and like cool, lineups though, yeah. yeah this is this is where we really get really get cooking um so another prediction i think another shutout's gonna happen i don't okay. think it's I just, gonna be madison white to be like madison white's gonna give up a goal like, yeah it's gonna happen well, I, heck maybe not but she it's just, soccer it happens but she just means business it's hard um, to bet against her yeah that's true um so i'm i'm predicting another shutout one nil we're oh, gonna okay. walk out with a win uh, that'll get us set up perfectly for our next game, our first home game at Lubbock, the John Walker, August 20th, 7 p.m. Be there. It's a Sunday. Just have a cute Sunday little night. Sunday nightcap. Under the lights. Under the lights. You, you want to know how, all, if you live in Lubbock, all you got to do is drive your little car over there and go to the game. You don't know how dedicated seeing Scarlet is? Sibby's ending her summer <laughs> vacation early and driving back from Michigan. I am, dude. She lives in Lubbock. She works in Lubbock, but she's been gone this summer. And she's I... leaving early so she can catch this first soccer match of the year and be there yeah. in person. So if you're already in Lubbock, all you got to do is go over there. It's a good time. You can You tailgate. don't have to drive from Michigan to you do it. You don't have to drive all the way from Michigan. Maybe in future <laughs> games, Sibia will be out there tailgating once she gets settled back in. But if you're already there, you can tailgate. It's a good time. There's a lot of space out there yeah. in the parking lot. Tons. We'll have Sibby out there just vibing, tailgating, and enjoying <laughs> the people all, all season. So Having a great time. Having yeah, a great you time. You can, but yeah. you can tailgate for more than football, y'all. Mm-hmm. Shocker. Uh, yeah. It's true. Um, but yeah, that's going to be really great. Lots of soccer, like in the next week and just going to continue yes. on. Like they crank out their full season in the fall. So, uh, yeah. like football and, basically. Yeah. 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 The football. So, so buckle up. The real football and the other football. Oh my gosh. Um, I so. said that and you like roasted me. So I, I like, I'm <laughs> never going to say that again. <laughs> I meant, I meant about American football being the real football though. You oh yeah. The opposite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway guys anyway. get out there to the game uh you'll see us tweeting about them coming on thursday again there's this is the first chance to watch some texas tech sports on video we'll tweet out the links get hype with us on twitter tweet loud yeah. and be loud if you can be there in person on sunday be there let's yeah. get it let's go congrats on the first dub let's keep it going wreck them y'all wreck them <laughs>